Hello everyone and welcome to Datum Learning. On this channel we talk about data and everything related to it. So today's video is going to be an introduction to the YOLO algorithm. Uh, in today's video I'll be giving you a very simple example of just an overview of how YOLO works and what it does. In the next subsequent videos we'll be diving deeper into this particular concept. But for this video I just want all the beginners to get a hang of what YOLO is and how it does detection and recognition. Okay, so let's get started. So in this particular lecture, we'll have first the simple explanation of YOLO. Second, we are going to look at the architecture very briefly, only one slide so that you get a hang of what uh, the architecture is and what are the layers. Just know the layers. Okay. And the third one is going to be the explanation of loss function. Uh, you'll see that this uh, particular loss function in this YOLO is actually very intuitive and it's very easy to understand. Okay. So that's why it's, it's kind of interesting. And the paper is you only look once unified real time object detection. And these are the authors. Okay. So what happens in YOLO? In YOLO, you are given an image, you take an image, feed it to a deep neural network, uh, actually a CNN, but we'll see that in the architecture. And then you are uh, you are supposed to predict, or rather the algorithm is supposed to predict eight values. Now what this eight value does, it basically gives you the detected place, the detected object, the uh, coordinates of the box and what the box contains. So in this case, the box, this golden box contains a face. So this is what YOLO does, given image, to the neural network, predict eight values, and these eight values will have the information of the object, where the object is, and what the object is. Okay. So till now you saw you had a deep neural network, and you uh, and the network was supposed to predict eight values. Okay. So what are these eight values? Actually, you can see over here. First is something called the confidence score. I'll explain what this confidence score is. X and Y, W and H are basically the positions, and these are the probabilities of the particular object being into us, uh, you know, falling into some particular class. So you can see the this X, Y, W, and H. This will have the, you know, this will compound the coordinates of this box, and the probability of face will be high because it is a face, and probability of all other will be lower. So this is what we are going to do. Uh, this is what this eight values are supposed to tell us. Okay. So as I told you, P of object into I O U is the confidence score. So what is IOU, intersection over union? This is, I think, one of the most important stuff in this whole uh, YOLO paper. So what intersection over union is? So you were given this image, right? You only had this image and this face in between. So what you, uh, what you came up with was a black bounding box, which you saw in the last slide. What I did is I divided the whole image into grids, into nine grid cells and this golden box is what you wanted, right? Because you wanted the face to exactly fit into, into the box with equal proportions from all sides, almost. But this particular uh, black box is the bounding box which the network predicts. And you can see the bounding box is not as accurate as the golden one because it is extending too much on the left top corner. So black box is what you got by the ne network and yellow box is what you wanted. Now intersection of union Intersection over union is, uh, yeah, f first one is the uh, bounded, which is also the predicted box region. It is represented by black. And second is ground truth region, which is represented by golden. Now, IOU is equals to area over the intersection, intersection over union. So, intersection will be what? The common region of both the boxes. So, this particular region. See, this part, this part is not included and this part is also not included divided by the area of the union or union means all the parts that are either in both the bounding boxes. So IOU is area of intersection by area of union. I hope this is clear. Okay. So uh, we'll be, and the, what is the goal, right? So what is the goal of this particular confidence score? The goal is that confidence score should be high or in other words, P of object into IOU should be high. Why? When it, and when it will high? When it will be high? Uh, this is something I have explained deeply in the next video. It is coming maybe tomorrow or day after tomorrow. So you'll get to know in that particular vi video easily that how we are going to maximize this IOU or rather the confidence score. So we are done with first part. Actually, I'm not explaining much because I just want you guys to know what it, each and every part is, not how it is found because that is kind of involved and we'll be having we'll be having that in the next video. So. We had this image and this was the bounding box and these were the grid cells. Now I have just taken out the bounding box, which is this and this particular grid because this particular grid has the object. Now object also extends in other grids, but, but this grid is supposed 
to find the object now what is this golden circle this is actually the center of this bounding box now i know it is not exactly at the center the center of this bounding box should be should have been the eye but the problem is if i put it here everything will just get messed up so uh, just bear with me that this is the center of this bounding box okay so now what i have done is i have removed the bounding box but kept the center now this x is the distance from this particular uh, edge okay this particular corner sorry not edge this particular corner if this length grid length is assumed to be 1 then x is this length basically the ratio of this length towards this length and similar for y x and y represent and this is with relative to the grid cell means from here okay this this was the grid cell right so we kept the bounding box as center here and only found the length with respect to the grid cells w h and w and h will be explained in the next video they are also find of uh, they are also found by similar ways now we'll look at what are these probabilities so probability of face is equal to probability of face given object now some of you might not be familiar with this kind of probabilities okay so it it basically means that if an object is there in the bounding box what is the probability that the object is face means if this event has hap happened or occurred what is the probability of this occurring is something like that okay in very layman and simple terms i think it's called conditional probability whatever we'll see that in the next video okay and this is the probability of the face of the object being a face fine so you'll also have probability of football probability of bicycle now this is a face so obviously probability of face will be higher and probability of football and bicycle will be slightly lower now architecture now i'll not go very deep into the architecture but uh, it is very helpful to know that the architecture consists of several convolutional layers two fully connected layers and these two will be responsible for giving as this as the output these eight boxes fine now we'll be looking at the loss function the reason i have included the loss function is because the loss function is actually kind of interesting and why it is interesting is basically it is based on sum of squared error which means that this is a regression problem means we can have other problems also but mostly it gives us the intuition that this particular problem is a regression problem and yes yolo at the last layers output layers is actually having linear output activation function okay linear activation functions but i'll explain all of that in the next video just hang on over here so component of loss function is number one classification loss and second localization loss a uh, localization error uh, loss basically so what why we have this kind of a not to say your um, uh, why classification and localization uh, it should be loss and not error but make makes sense right so one is that you are classifying between probability of face probability of uh, bicycle and probability of football so that is a classification whereas finding x y w and h is actually a regression problem because you are trying to find real values okay and there are multiple bounding boxes yeah so there will be multiple bounding boxes and uh, these were the eight values that we saw basically this is the main thing okay the prediction of these values and changing of these values actually is the core of yolo okay so we have reached the end and there are some things that i have to tell uh, in this series i have uh, yeah, this is going to be a series first of all so this particular video is an introduction video next video is going to be in detail of the, on the explanation of yolo and then um, in following videos i'll show you a way to implement yolo in just five lines or six lines of python code i don't know the exact lines but yes that many only less than 10 i think so in just 10 lines you'll be able to or rather five lines only you'll be able to Uh, you know implement this yolo algorithm using an api i'll tell you what that is and it's really interesting second i also plan to implement yolo from scratch in python because that will be something that you will learn the most from and uh, concepts like non max suppression and all of that haven't been included means i haven't said out that and that all of that will also be needed in order to implement yolo so yeah and uh, the best thing is you just need to sit and relax because i plan to do an entire uh, like uh, an entire yolo framework only okay so you'll have a lot of lot of things to learn and uh, i'll try to make all of those videos short but uh, no promises so yeah uh, we are having and i have put um, 
how to say a request i have not said a request but uh, an aim of 10 likes for this video i don't think that is too much my highest is 4 and this is my fourth video i am i know asking for that uh, 10 is my aim 10 is my aim and uh, maximum i have got it for and basically it doesn't matter if you like my video only then like it doesn't matter and uh, yeah i am aiming for 10 likes for this video and it is really you know very very motivating when i see those numbers and last uh, please give me suggestions okay so this particular video is actually uh, someone who had asked me to make but it was not a requested video because the requested videos are basically one video long this is going to be an entire series however you can like request me anything or rather tell me anything to do if that is interesting i'll definitely do so okay thank you go to my description i have written a loads of things like faqs and stuff maybe we might have some questions and those will be answered in the faq related to the video and also related to my channel okay so thank you and uh, yeah bye